Hey, what is going on guys? Green Jelly here and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we have episode 32 of the Pokemon Pearl Ultra Lock. If everything goes to plan, this is the third to last episode. This episode we're going to be taking on the first two Elite Four members. Um, if you haven't seen last episode, click up in the top right hand corner of the screen and you can go watch that. But... Um, during episodes, as I said, one, I grinded up my team, and two, I evolved all the Pokemon in my PC that could be evolved. So first of all, I'm going to show you, um, all, I'm going to show you, uh, all the, they're, they're all the Pokemon, I'm going to show you all the videos of them evolving. Alright guys, so Noah is evolving. Uh, I gotta click back on here. Alright, Noah is evolving. I really hope it's something good. Let me just adjust my mic. Alright, there we go. No idea. A Motham! Well, it evolved into a bug, but not a very good one. Okay guys, so Fernando is um, now evolving. Let's see what it evolves into. And it was level 1, don't forget. This thing came from an egg, and now it's level 36. I'm using the um, ESP cheat code. I would have said that at the start of the video, but... Let's see what it evolves into. I know that cry. A Drapion! Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. Not bad. Okay, guys, so Dave is now evolving. Oh my goodness. Let's see what it evolves into. This guy was level 3, and now he's like level 34. So, oh goodness. Let's see, Dave. Come on, Palkia. Oh, Pachirisu. Oh my goodness, that is terrible. Okay, guys, so now Xavier is evolving. Alright, this guy is like level 34 now. Come on, be something good, please be something good. <laughs> Another penny! Oh my goodness. It evolved into a hound door. Alright, I'll level this guy up real quick. And let's see if this thing will evolve into a pincer. Um, just quickly, I'll show you guys what I've been doing. Also learn Bone Club. Um, what's Mud Bomb? 65. Bone Club. Yeah, we'll get rid of Mud Bomb. Yeah, it does evolve into a pincer. Okay. So it's not random after all. Okay, well, there you go, guys. Alright, guys, Fry is now evolving. And Fry actually uh, just learned Blizzard as it wanted to evolve. So this guy's learned some pretty crazy moves. Let's just let's see what he evolves into. Hopefully, a Palkia. Whoa, a Blissey! Okay, I knew that cry, but I didn't also know that cry. And it wants to learn Psy Wave. Uh, I'm not going to teach it that. Oh, guys, oh, I saw that. I was fast forwarding and I accidentally clicked A. Okay, well, it's evolving into a Porygon. Now, I can't evolve this thing. Oh, no, I can. I can look it up because I think without trade evolutions, things evolve differently. So I'm going to look up how to evolve this Porygon quickly, and I will evolve it. So to evolve this Porygon, I have to level it up with an upgrade. Now, it, rather than trade it with an upgrade, I don't think I have an upgrade though. Um, let's just scroll through. Upgrade, upgrade. Uh, I don't think I have an upgrade. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I don't have an upgrade. Oh, that would have been really good if I had one. So yeah, I can't evolve this um, Porygon, unfortunately. Okay guys, so the last one is Jason. Jason the Grimer is evolving. Alright, this is our last shot at Palkia, guys. Come on. Oh my goodness, come on. Give us Palkia. Or give me something else that can evolve so I can evolve it into Palkia. What are the odds of that? So now, obviously, to level this up, you need to level it up with a dubious disc, but I don't have a dubious disc. Let me just double check. Watch your race, black belt, pure incense, EXP share, smoke ball, miracle seeds, that plate, wise glasses, power belt, and never mind, I sunstone, shoal shell, power weight, damp mulch, choice specs, super repel, lagging tail, iron plate, green scarf, white flute, 
Razor Claw, Rock Incense, Leaf Stone, Sticky Barb, Quick Powder, Metal Plate, Lost Resolve, Dragon Fang, um, Power Lens, Cleanse Tag, Hard Stone, Toxic Orb, Hard Scale, Dragon Scale, oh no, no, I was going to say, Poison Barb, um, Big Mushroom, Power Band, Icy Rock, Light Clay, Damp Rock, Honey Flame, Orb, Light Ball. Oh, that sucks. Alright. And, yeah, so that's all the Pokemon that evolved. Um, that's all of them that I have evolved. Um, that I evolved. So, yeah, let's take on the Elite Four. Alright. So, that was all of them evolving. Uh, all my live reactions to them. And I actually haven't seen the Pokemon since they evolved. I just, I'm gonna see them for the first time now. Their stats and everything. So, first we've got Noah, which evolved from the Metapod. I uh, became a Motham with an adamant... An adamant typing um, ability. It's got stall, a very bad ability. Bug Buzz, Double Edge, Super Wind, and Mega Horn. So it's not even that bad of a of a Pokemon with a uh, Mega Horn. It's not even that bad. Like looking at it, Mega Horn, Double Edge, with the adamant. But stall is really bad. Stall's a really bad ability. Okay, next up we've got Fernando, which evolved from the um, Vigoroth uh, that we hatched from an egg. A timid nature. <laughs> Terrible. Gluttony, that's not bad. Sketch, Lovelicious, Facade, and Judgment are very bad moveset there. Next up, we've got Dave, which the Pachirisu, which evolved from the Psyduck with the Adamant Nature, Frisk Ability, not bad. Spore, Water Pulse, Spark, and Hydro Cannon. So it's got a really good moveset, but it just evolved into a really weak Pokemon. Next up, we've got Xavier, which evolved, what was it? The Swinub evolved into a uh, Houndour and then evolved into a Pinsir. And it's a brave nature, not bad. Drizzle with Fissure, Icy Wind, Power Whip, and Bone Club. So this guy actually isn't even that bad. Um, if we level him up, if he learns some bug moves, that like um, Mega Horn, that could be really good. Um, if well, uh, just saying like if we were to lose against the Pokemon League, which I hope we won't. Uh, okay. Anyways, we've got Fry, which evolved from the Shopper. It's now a Blissey with a docile nature, skill link ability. Look at that special defense. That's amazing. Shadow Ball, Shadow Punch, Shadow Sneak, and Blizzard. So, not great move set there. Next up, we've got Ollie, which evolved from the Horsey, the Porygon, with a hardy nature, Mold Breaker ability, Return, Water Spout, Arcoring, and Dive. Pretty weird there. And last but not least, we've got Jason. Look at this. We've got Jason, um, which evolved from the Grimer, Lonely Nature, Normalize ability. <laughs> Poison Tail, How Magicoat, and Toxic. So at least it'll get 100% um, stab on any move. But yeah, they're all the Pokemon, and here are all the other Pokemon I had. So I could evolve Cleffa, but um, that thing needs happiness, and I really couldn't be bothered. But if worst comes to worst, and I do lose against the Pokemon League, um, then I will evolve that thing. But anyways, now... A good friend of mine with Just a Fly left a suggestion on the last video. Now, normally, when I think of grinding my Pokemon, I think of getting them all to the same level. But he suggested that I get some Pokemon to like level uh, to a level, and my better Pokemon to a higher level, which is what I did. I didn't do exactly what levels he said, but um, I'll show you guys what I did now. So first up, we've got Opal holding the um, Focus Sash with the Rash nature. White Smoke Ability, Strength, Cut, Brick Break, and Rock Climb. Now, oh, man, I was thinking, this is going to be it. You know what? Can somebody learn Fly? Hold on, let me check something quickly. Can somebody learn Fly? Um, Fly. Um, Ellie can, Opal can, of course Opal can, HM Slave, Ellie can. What moves does Ellie have? Um, I could forget Soft Boiled. It's basically pointless. Fly might even not be that bad, to be honest. If I flew to Canalave City now to the move deleter and got rid of um, Opal's moves and then maybe taught it some TMs, because this is Opal's gonna need all the good moves it can um, if it's gonna be serious. Um, no, okay. Let's see. Um, I didn't think about this. Let's just see if Opal can learn any moves. So, can Opal learn Earthquake? It can't, that sucks. Um, how about Zen Headbutt? Can it learn Zen Headbutt? It can learn Zen Headbutt. Shadow Claw, can it learn Shadow Claw? It can't. Oh, that would have been really good. Uh, Meteor Mash, can it learn Meteor Mash? It can't. Man, um. Rock Slide, can it learn Rock Slide? It can. Lava Plume? It can. Man, um, let me see Opal's special attack quickly. Um, not very good, but its attack's really good. If I taught it Rock Slide, 
What could hit with Rock Slide? He could hit Fire types. But and Ellie's never gonna use Soft Boiled. I'll tell you that Ellie's never gonna use Soft Boiled. So you know what? I'm actually I'm going to teach Ellie Fly, and I'm gonna fly to Canalave City, and I'm gonna teach Opal. I'm gonna get rid of all of o Opal's HMs, and I'm gonna use the TMs now. Um, and then like afterwards, I'll teach it all. I'll teach him back when I need him. But anyways, um, okay, let's teach Ellie Fly. Okay, Ellie will get rid of Soft Boiled. Soft Boiled gone, Ellie learned Fly. Okay, and Fly might actually be, it could be useful. Okay. So now let's, let's fly. I didn't even go through the rest of my Pokemon. But, oh, hold on, wait, what am I doing? Uh, Alright, you know what, before I do that, I'll just go through the rest of my Pokemon. So that's Opal. Next up, we've got Ellie. Um, also, okay, so Opal's level 57, Ellie's also level 57, ho uh, Ellie holding the soft sand with a gentle nature, levitated ability, waterfall, earth power, fly, and water spout. So, I think the go-to move is definitely going to be, um, earth power and waterfall, but water spout could come in handy. Um, and then we've got Chad. Now, I was going to get Chad to level 57, but he decided to level up once more. Uh, Chad holding the Razor Fang with a calm nature, static ability, recover surf, air slash, and aero blast. Our starter. It survived from the start. I hope it can survive the whole way. Now, to the level 60 Pokemon. We've got Bradley holding the Iron Plate, Anger Point ability, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, Meteor Mash, and Thunder Wave. This thing tried to learn a couple of moves, but I didn't teach it. Um... Next up, we've got Ashley, um, holding the Twisted Spoon, Naive Nature, Forewarn Ability, Shadow Ball, Mist Ball, Rock Smash, and Extra Sensory. And last but not least, we've got Blazeby, holding the Smoke Ball, but I'm going to give it the leftovers in one sec. With a Naive Nature, Static Ability, and look at this, guys. Heat Wave, Sacred Fire, Aero Blast, and Surf. Now, I'm going to roll a clip right now. Oh my god, guys, did you just see that? Did you just see that? No flipping way, dude. Blazeby wants to learn Aero Blast. There is no way, dude. It Level 59, it wants to learn Aero Blast. Oh my gosh. Goodbye, Wing Attack. Hello, Aero Blast. I just need one more level on Blazeby. I'm just grinding it up right now. So yeah, Blazeby just learned Aero Blast at level 59. It was absolutely insane. But anyways, let's fly to um right over here Canalave City Oh my god flying on a dog trio that's the most hilarious thing Okay um I think it's this guy here the move deleter So this is the only way we can get rid of nope it's not this guy um the only way we can get rid of HMs is yeah this guy here Okay yeah let's opal can first we'll get it to forget cut cuz strength might even come in handy you know um and then uh, oh, rock climbs. Oh, no, I'll get rid of rock climb. Okay, now let's see if Opal. Let's let's see once again. So, let's. Um, it can't learn earthquake. I know that. Um, Karate chop doesn't need that. Zen headbutt. What does Zen headbutt hit? Hits other fighting types. That could be useful. Um, what else can learn Zen headbutt? Bradley, Chad, Ashley. No, I wouldn't teach it to them. Can I learn Meteor Mash again? No, it can't. That sucks. Can I learn Sand Tomb? Oh, Sand Tomb's bad anyways. It can learn Rock Slide though. Rock Slide hits Fire types. I think I'm definitely gonna... Well, what else can I learn Rock Slide? Ashley can, but I'm not gonna give it... So I'm gonna teach Opal Rock Slide. Alright, beautiful. And then, yeah, I'm gonna teach Opal Rock Slide. And can I learn Fake Out? It can't do that would have been so good. Uh, I'm gonna teach it. What is it? um? What's the other one? Zen headbutt. Yeah, I'm gonna teach it Zen headbutt. Are there any other moves? Rolling kick, ingrain, smelling salt, medium mash, water gun, swagger, sand tomb, gravity, metronome, glare, bone rush, bulk up. Oh yes, it can learn bulk up. Yes, dude, I'm teaching this thing bulk up. Yeah, let's forget strength. Alright, now let's teach it Bulk Up. Bulk Up could actually... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to forget anything. Okay. No one. Alright. Let's teach it Bulk Up. Dude, Bulk Up would be really good. Alright. Now, I'm going to fly back to the Pokemon League, and we are going... We're going to take them on now. We're going to take on the first two members. So, this might be a bit of a longer episode, because there's been a really long introduction. But yeah, anyways. Let's fly to the Pokemon League. 
we bought all our healing stuff last um, episode. But let's put our Pokemon here. Okay. And then now let's... Alright, let's save. We bought... And I'll just double check. We've got all our healing items. We're about to take on the Pokemon League, guys. I can't believe it. Alright. All the healing items. Let's check healers. We've got 15 full restores, 10 full heals, 20 hyper potions, 15 super potions, 5 ice heals, 2 ogre toes, 13 mimi milks, an iron max potion, um, burn heal, awakening energy root. Okay. We've got it, guys. Alright. Let me confirm that you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. So, let us examine the gym badges you gathered from Sinnoh. Ouroboros City's Coal Badge, Eterna City's Forest Badge, Veilstone City's Cobble Badge, Pastoria City's Fen Badge, Harum City's Reli bleh, Relic Badge, Candlelight City's Mine Badge, Snowpoint City's Icicle Badge, and Sunny Shore City's G Beacon Badge. Alright, the gym badge sound. Alright guys, alright. Very well, trainer, you've indeed collected all... All the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory. Oh my gosh. Here we go, guys. The Pokemon League. Ah, oh, my heart's starting to beat a little bit faster now. Alright, who are we going to lead with? Should we lead with Opal? Yep, let's lead with Opal. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Yeah, right. Bug Pokemon are nasty, are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challenges here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Aaron, the bug type Elite Four member who doesn't, who probably isn't going to have any bug types. Swimmer Landon. Kingler. Okay. Kingler, water Pokemon, level 53. So these first two are going to be really easy to beat. Um, because they're lower level. But once you get to Cynthia, her Pokemon are like all level 60. So we got to be prepared for Cynthia. Okay, let's go into Bradley. Let's go into Bradley. I know Bradley can take uh, water type moves. Water is really bad for my team. Water sport? Okay, so fire's power weakened. Yeah, um... Thunderbolt here. Um, yeah, water's really bad for my team because I don't have a single water resist, I don't think. And I've got um, two water weaknesses. So, and when powerful Pokemon come in like Empoleon, it's really hard. But as long as I know what Pokemon they're going to send in, like what water Pokemon, then I can go. Oh, oh my god, I forgot to turn. Wait, did I? I forgot to turn the EXP code off. Okay. Shell gone. Okay, just quickly. Oh, I can't believe that. I forgot to turn the EXP code off. That's so bad. Okay, I just turned it off now. So we're all good. Alright. But, oh my gosh. So now, Opal grew two levels and Bradley grew one level. Damn! Okay. That's alright. Shell gone. Okay, weak to dragon and ice. I don't have a dragon or an ice type move. So now, what resists dragon? Bradley resists dragon. Oh man, I think I'm just gonna stay in with Bradley here. I'm pretty sure Bradley resists Dragon. Oh, but what do I hit this thing with, man? I don't think Dragon resists Steel. I'm gonna go. You know, what? I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave. I'm gonna play it safe. Go for a Thunder Wave. Cause this thing could be bad if it has powerful Dragon type moves. Okay. Growth. That's not good. That's not good. Special Attack Rose. That's not good. Let's go for a Flash Cannon. We're seven levels above. Alright, it's just normal damage. It's normal damage. Alright, we've done over half. Oh! <sighs> Alright, that's the power of eight levels above. Okay, okay, okay. Shift tree. Okay, shift tree. That's cool. We can go into... We can go into Blazebee for that one. We can go into Blazebee for that. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Shift tree. Alright. Level 54. Go for a heat wave. Go for a heat wave. Oh yeah, and we've got to be conservative with our PP as well because we can't restore PP. 
So we gotta be like really careful when like we can't we can only use like aero blasts like now and then. Because there's only five of those. Well ten now, because blazeby has got it as well, but Okay. 2000 XP, that's more like it. I didn't even level up. Gardevoir. Okay. So um Dark Ghost. Um Okay, Dark and Ghost. Dark and Ghost. And Bug. Dark and Ghost and Bug. Now I've got Shadow Ball with my Gardevoir here. I think that's what I have to do. Yep. Ashley? Alright, come on. He's on Gardevoir. And you know, I just I can't believe throughout this whole playthrough that I haven't even found a shiny yet. Okay, so it's got extra sensory, we know that. We're faster though. So this is his ace. His Gardevoir is his ace. And he's had all fully evolved Pokemon. So maybe I put it like level 55, they're all fully evolved or something. I've got no idea. Okay, let's see what move. Citrus Berry? Oh, I forgot to give Blazeby the leftovers back. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Disable! Oh my gosh! Nice move! That was... Oh, that's good. Alright, let's go for extra sensory. This thing won't have Shadow Ball because I taught my Gardevoir Shadow Ball via... Um, oh, that's that's resisted. Via TM. Lost to Purge. Okay. So, that'll do less than extra sensory will. Because extra sensory has got more power than that. Okay. I can't switch here. I have to keep going with Gardevoir. I have to extra sensory again. I can speed up a little bit here. Hopefully he doesn't use a... What do you call it? A potion. But I think he will now. Lost a purge again. Alright. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's go for an extra sensory. Ah, he used a potion. A full restore. Okay, we'll speed up a little bit. Extra sensory. Okay. Alright. Can disable wear off? It hasn't worn off yet. Alright, after this turn, I think we'll heal. Alright, go for extra sensory. Okay, nice, nice. Extra sensory. Alright, I think now we'll heal. So he's done 60 damage to us. Okay, so we can use a Moo Moo Milk here. Alright, I'm no longer disabled. Okay. My Shadow Ball. Alright, we'll go for a Moo Moo Milk. Use a Moo Moo Milk here. Alright. And it disabled extra sensory. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because if we've got Mr. Ball too, that's cool. We can use Shadow Ball. We should knock it out here. Should knock it out here. I think this is his second to last Pokemon. Beautiful. So all his Pokemon have been fully evolved. So maybe I did put like level 55. They're all fully evolved or something. But his Kingler was level 53. So. Okay. Meganium. Another fully evolved Pokemon. Okay. That's cool. We can take that with... Yeah, we can take that with Chad. That's fine. We can take it with Chad. Okay. Okay. Let's use Arrow Blast. Leaf Blade? Alright. We resist that, yeah? Yeah, we resist that. Alright, let's see what it does. Okay. Doesn't do much. Arrow Blast? This should be able to knock it out. This should be able to knock it out. Oh, it barely lived. Alright, I'm gonna go for... Uh, victory doesn't come easily, kid. I'm gonna go for an Air Slash. Because I think he's... Oh, he just used Rapid Spin. Yeah, if he used something like Thunder there, that would have been really bad. Because I thought, mate, he'd heal up, and then I think Air Slash would have done over half. But there it is, guys. Our first... The first Elite Four member down. Okay. Meganium fainted. And see, look how slow we're get gaining XP. Like, by the time we got to Cynthia, we probably would have gotten molly -whopped. Okay. How great Bug-type Pokemon can be. I don't even think he had a Bug-type. Battling is a deep and complex affair. Okay. I lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's hear it for me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. These trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Alright, let's save right here. Um, Save quickly. And then I'm going to heal my Pokemon up to full. full. So let's get um the Super Potions. Alright, 
Chad back up to full, and that's that's it. All my Pokemon are on full health. And I gotta give Blazeby the leftovers because I forgot to give Blazeby the leftovers. Smoke ball switch. Okay. Now I'm going to save here quickly, and my my mom actually called me halfway through that battle, so I'm gonna see what she wants, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and now it's time to take on um, the second Elite Four member, which I think her name is Bertha. Normally the ground type um, leader. Oh, yep, that's right. It's Big Bertha. <laughs> All right, I think we. You know what? This time I'm gonna lead with Ellie. So I'm gonna lead with Ellie. I'm feeling good about this. Well, well, you're quite the adorable trainer, but you've also got a snipe. Did I say snipe? Aha! 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 I'm Bertha. I have a preference for ground type Pokemon. Well, would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Let's go, Bertha. Oh, what are their names? I didn't even read their names before. Swimmer Christine. They're all swimmers, goodness me. Polyrath, wow, that was an absolutely terrible lead. Oh no. Oh no, a water fighting type. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta go into Ashley here. Oh no. Polyrath is really bad to run into. Double edge. Okay. Submission? Alright, we resist that. That's okay. How much would this do? Resisted hit. Oh my gosh. 30. That's a lot. Okay. Do I think an extra sensory could knock it out? Now that was a resisted stab hit. I think submission is 80. So if you get that stab boost 1.5 times, it goes up to 120. Then half that is 60. Because it's resisted. Now double edge. There's no stab. Um... No stab, 120 power, so in theory it do double that, a double edge. That doesn't, that just doesn't sound right to me though. Submission, 1.5 times, 120, and then half that is 60. So saying a double edge would do 60 damage only. Well, it's not stab, I guess. Alright. I'm just going to go for an extra sensory. We've got the Twisted Spoon. I've got the Twisted Spoon, it's stab, we're five levels above. Super effective. Stab super effective, twisted spoon boosted, five levels above. Actually, you're a powerhouse! Let's go, let's go! Come on, next Pokemon. Alright. Cyndaquil! Okay, now that is music to my ears. Cyndaquil. Alright, I'm gonna take that out with Ellie. Ellie can take that out with a uh, Earth Power. Okay, so maybe it is just random and the and um, the first Elite Four member. Oh my God, this is her Ace too. That's hilarious. Okay, and the first guy just um, I don't know, uh, just got really lucky. Now this is Soft Sand boosted. I wish this thing could learn Earthquake. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. It's super effective. It was a Cyndaquil. It didn't matter. 820 XP. Yeah, because now... Clampel. Okay. So if these Pokemon were all like the normal like level they're supposed to be, um, and like the normal Pokemon, they'd give a lot of XP. But when you're playing a randomizer, like especially with me, my Pokemon are so underleveled because I'm not finding Pokemon... I'm not running into Pokemon that give a lot of XP. I'm running into weak Pokemon like these. And on the routes as well. There's just no good Pokemon. So like you gotta, I really hope you guys can see my point of view when I use the cheat code because it's like just with, like they design a game with the right Pokemon to give the right amount of XP. And in a game, random game like this, you can find Bidoofs your whole playthrough and your Pokemon will be level 30 by the time you're versing the Elite Four because they just don't give XP. Snubble, okay. Yep, we'll switch out. So you gotta understand my po my point of view, guys. And grinding here, grinding still took me, like, well, okay. So I spent about 20 minutes getting all the leveling up all the Pokemon, and then another, f another 15 minutes to grind my team up, sort of. But in between leveling up the Pokemon, I was grinding my team. So I'd say about 40 minutes, I um I spent grinding, even with the cheat code. They gave 9999 XP every time. So I really hope you guys can see my point of view. Now, I'm, you could say that I could have gone for a bulk up there, but I don't think it matters. Is this the last Pokemon? She might have one more. Pachirisu. Okay. 
So we can... Okay, so she was really, really weak. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is her last Pokemon. Yep, it is. She was really, really weak. Um, thank goodness, because... Oh, man. Because I was really afraid going into this Elite Four battle. Now, like, I was planning on just recording this episode, because it's 10 o'clock now, and it's a school night, and I... Oh, it lived, and I gotta be going to bed. But, Magnet Rise, yo, nice, nice, nice. Electromagnetism. Don't e Okay. Um, I'm gonna go for a water spout now. Hopefully this can knock it out, because obviously, um, Magnet Rise lifts it off the ground, and this should be able to knock it out. Yeah, it did. Alright, and that's it, and I don't think we even have to heal anyone, except maybe I'll give a super potion to Ashley. See, now, her normal Pokemon there would have given, like, something crazy, like 4,000 XP, but it's giving me, like, less than 1,000, these Pokemon, that's Cyndaquil and stuff. So I really want to take on the rest of the Elite Four and just beat the game right now. If, if I can beat the game, obviously, because I'm not underestimating anyone at the moment. Okay, that's it. Alright, you know what? We're going to end it here, guys, for this episode. But I think I'm going to keep recording um, and go until, and like, hopefully beat, beat Cynthia. So yeah, any, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on notifications so you will get notified when the next episode of the Pokemon Pearl Ultra Lock um, goes up. Yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We defeated two Elite Four members out of four, and now we've got two left and the champion. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, everyone.